we have Congressman Walsh here, and we are grateful for your leadership, Congressman, and we're hoping you can come talk to us a little bit about some hope that you have on these issues. <laughs> of the debate was, in order to tear apart a health care program and stop it from going into effect after it had been passed by the House, passed by the Senate, signed by the President, approved by the Supreme Court, that it was okay to shut the entire government down and default on our bills. And that was seen as like a reasonable thing to do in the House. And uh, so we do have our, we do have our challenges. <laughs> And these are the same folks who, you know, don't believe that climate change is a real issue. Uh, so there are some uh, challenges there. But, you know, the fact is that as tough as it is in the House now, and the House and the Senate ultimately have to work together, uh, all of us have been at places in our lives or in our jobs where it's just been an uphill slog for a period of time. And when you're in that, you don't know how long it's going to be that you're climbing uphill. But you know you can't stop. It's just the job you have. And for me to have the opportunity to represent you, even in that dysfunctional house, it's the time that we face that we didn't create, but we have to make a decision about whether we're going to change it or not. So, you know, it, I don't spend my time, as you don't spend your time, worrying about how bad it is. You spend your time trying to figure out how to make it better. And you know, you do that not just because you believe in progress, but it's just a better way to live. It's just a better way to live where you engage directly in the problems that confront you and your time, your family, your state. And you know, the way I'm trying to approach this in the House is to try to find where is their common ground with many of my Republican colleagues. And there is some. You know, we don't have as, uh, as, as much breadth on the energy issues as Bernie's got. And you're doing a great job over there, Bernie, in the Senate. But energy efficiency is where Ted Poe of Texas, who's an oil guy, Joe Barton of Texas, big oil guy, denies climate change. They're working with me on energy efficiency bills. I'm working with Cory Gardner from Colorado. And what we're doing is pushing hard to have energy uh, saving performance contracts. We've got 35 members of the House, half Republicans, half Democrats, basically pushing hard to have the federal government enter into contracts whereby the buildings will be retrofitted and the money that will be, will be put up in order to do this, and it is local jobs, those materials are all manufactured in this country, the, the, the contractor is going to put the money up and then get paid as we get savings from lower utility bills. So that's an area where I can talk to an oil person, uh, a coal person, and say, look, less is more. Let's do efficiency. We're, uh, I've got the, uh, with David McKinley, who's a coal uh, a district representative from, uh, uh, from West Virginia. He and I are working together on the Homes Act, something that we passed when we had a Democratic Congress that would give some incentive to a homeowner who would then retrofit his or her home, their home, uh, and save on the energy bills. And Margaret and I did that. Margaret, by the way, sends her greetings, uh, wishes she could be here. Uh, 
and uh, I, and she's so, so proud of all the work that you're doing. Uh, but Scott Gardner and his folks came out to our house and made it nice and tight. And, you know, it's kind of cozy on a cold day. Uh, and we're saving on our energy bill, and that was local folks doing the work. So you guys get that. But in Congress, what we have to do, in the House especially, is try to find that sweet spot where there's some possibility of finding common ground with people who are climate change deniers, uh, who think that the future is in more resource recovery, uh, whether it's coal, a carbon kind of approach, things that we're against. We don't have the votes to stop it in the House now. <clears throat> but if we can get a real commitment to energy efficiency, that is very significant in terms of trying to bring down climate change. You know, I was in the House when we actually got things done. Uh, when we passed the whole health care bill, and we actually in the House passed a climate change bill. Uh, and we didn't make it through the Senate. But that was, that we, we were getting those things done, and the day will come when we can do it again. But while we're getting from here to there, there are things in the House that we can do. Now, the other thing I want to say to you is that it's so inspiring to me to see all of you here, and especially the young people here, because I think Bernie's point is really right. The <coughs> issue of our time is saving the planet. And you are engaged in that effort. And when Washington is not doing its job, and it's not, the people who are doing their job are you. It's really true. Because, you know, ideally we're working in a partnership. You've got the federal uh, the government passing policies that make it much more possible for you to be successful back home in your own communities. But while we're lagging behind, especially the House, you're forging ahead. And the glue that is keeping our country together is local leadership. And there's nobody that's doing it better in Vermont than our town energy committees. And it is just amazing to me to see how folks like you, Bob Walker, and others, they just get out there and go neighbor to neighbor with practical intelligence, a willingness to share information, to answer questions, to show how it can be done, and actually to make a real difference in that community. And it's a difference because people are doing things with their homes that are helping cut down on carbon emissions. But it's also very empowering to see that you don't have to just complain about how we're not getting things done in the House of Representatives. You can take action yourself and get things done back home. And you know, that's really fundamentally what we have to do. There's an enormous tide of cynicism when people look down in Washington and things aren't getting done. But you know, the worst thing that we can do is just sit around and complain about that. The best thing that we can do is find a way to take effective action where we live. And then you start building on success. You start creating a sense of possibility that you can actually get something done. And you know what? Eventually, we're going to figure out in Washington that you're right. Uh, I'm not kidding, because that's kind of how it works. Uh, and the, so I just say to you that don't just sit back and be dismayed at what you're seeing not happen in Washington. Uh, really, get up each day, a little bounce in your step, and go back to making that local energy committee that you have the best one that you can possibly have it be here in Vermont. Believe me, it's good for you, it's good for Vermont, and it's where this country has to go. So thank you so much for the work that you've been doing, not just this year, but over the years and the years to come. And be there when Secretary Moniz is, is, uh, is arriving with Bernie, with your hand out, to get that big check so that we can help you uh, help the people in your community. Thank you very much.